I was delighted to attend this year's SNP St Andrews Award Dinner in Glasgow, where David Alexander received the Lifetime Achievement Award for his service to the party and independence cause. David's exemplary 35 years service as a councillor, along with his experience as a parliamentary candidate, demonstrates that he would have been an asset to any parliament. The issue of dual mandates has been getting a fair bit of attention, particularly following SNP Westminster leader Stephen Flynn's interest in standing for Holyrood while remaining an MP, though he has later reconsidered. Now, dual mandates are nothing new. I myself briefly held one as a councillor when first elected as an MP to Westminster. Since 1999, 85 members of the Scottish Parliament have held dual mandates. Most were councillors who served briefly. More controversial are those serving in two parliaments simultaneously, such as Douglas Ross combining the roles of MP, MSP, party leader and football linesman. Currently, Labour's Baroness Clark serves as an MSP while on leave from the Lords, and others, such as Green leader Patrick Harvey, have tried to obtain multiple mandates. The last SNP politician holding a dual parliamentary mandate was former First Minister Alex Salmond. He served in both Westminster and Holyrood between 2015 and 2016. The SNP subsequently adopted a strong position against dual mandates, requiring MPs to resign before becoming candidates for Holyrood, as Neil Gray did, leading to Anam Kazair's by-election victory. While I personally disagree with dual mandates, I believe the SNP-only restriction was problematic, potentially trapping talent at Westminster and or risking unnecessary by-elections and expenses. Local members should have the freedom to select candidates based on their circumstances. Tory MSP Graham Simpson's amendment to the Scottish Elections Bill, now backed by Labour and the Greens, would create a welcome level playing field, aligning Scotland with Wales and Northern Ireland, where dual mandates are already prohibited. Ultimately, our focus must be on getting our best talent elected to the Scottish Parliament the institution that will be crucial in delivering independence. A clear cross-party approach to dual mandates helps ensure MSPs can fully commit to this vital task. Let me know what you think about dual mandates in the comments. Until next time, stay safe, stay engaged and keep working for Scotland's future.